Hi everyone, Mikey Bly here, and today we are back with the Punniest Pun Master! And now, well, we have a whole range of boys, all with slightly differing opinions of our jokes, who may or may not all be kind of interested in us. Who'd have thunk it? We chuck out terrible stinker, stinker jokes all the time, and yet here we have Seth, Rico, and just Matt, all three of them, vying for my attention. Some maybe more than others, but I think they are all... They're all on the table! Hey, that's just my opinion. I don't know. Maybe Rico just feels sorry for us and wants to make sure we don't get annihilated by somebody for telling terrible jokes. But! This is where the roots are probably going to start shaping up a bit more. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how any of this works. I don't know what kind of choice-based stuff's coming our way. But I think the choices we make can push us down specific paths and I have honestly been agonizing about it I'm like who who do I prefer because Seth was kind of top of my mind for a while but I've been thinking about it since I wrapped up last time and it's like you know what I kind of like Rico though and as much as Matt is a bit much I kind of like Matt too so um I don't really know which way I'm leaning here I'm gonna just let my heart lead me and when a choice pops up I'm just gonna go with my heart guts uh, my gut hearts yeah we'll cross that bridge th those bridges when we come to them in the meantime though it's another day so good morning all right i'll try my best today target for today 30 whopping puns that can make the entire world groan it's the name of a book isn't it although 30 puns that would be a small book pamphlet it's a pun it's a punflet Yes, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna headbutt the deer right in the face with a pun, big old pun headbutt. I took food from the canteen's counter. It's cereal milk today. Oh, it's simple but it's classic. You know, I love myself a good bowl of cereal. I'll be more than happy with that at the canteen. Like where I used to work, there used to be a lovely little kitchen, and you know you could just pay whatever you wanted it was kind of like it was like a school canteen kind of right but gosh they used to have like you could get bacon sandwiches and it was always in buns rather than like bread so it was like a big bun full of bacon and um you served yourself and then you paid when you got to the end of the thing so you went to and you could get sausages too and you were meant to pay per so per sausage so you could stick two sausages in there and pay a certain amount, or you could stick a couple of more in and pay more. We used to slice sausages, we used to sneak sausages. It's like, well, I've only got two, honestly. So, <laughs> But with the bacon too, I think there was like, you went to take so many rashes. I don't know, I can't remember the exacts now, but I used to be like, bacon, 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 bacon. Oh, you knew I'd had a night out the night before if I went straight to the canteen in the morning and got myself a big, massive bacon sandwich and a can of pop. That's how you knew I'd had a rough one. Because I'm loading up on the bloody fatty foods and the sugar and the sugar water. That was my that was my cure. That was my cure after a night out. Nowadays I don't really have one. I just have to suffer. Time changes us all. Anyway, yes, yeah, cereal milk. Mm, perfect. Hey, yeah, uh, Mikey, over here. Matt waved at me from the back of the canteen. He was sitting with Rico and Seth. Ah, oh, look at, see, see? They've all made a nice little click. They've all made a nice little hangout group together. I'm surprised Rico is there, but maybe he doesn't actually have any other people to hang out with. Maybe we just assumed he did. I took my train and sat beside Matt. Good morning, Matt. Rico. Seth. Morning. Well, someone's looking grumpy today. Also, why is Matt always wearing that red jacket too, instead of the orange one that we've been assigned to wear? Then again, Seth has that blue one going on, huh? Matches his hair. Morning, Maggie. Had a good sleep last night? <laughs> you bet. On the contrary, you don't look like you slept at all, Rico. Yeah, what's with the eye bags? You look like a dead panda. Do, do, whose fault do you think it is, you mean bastard? Uh, huh? You keep on laughing so hard last night when you were browsing through memes that I couldn't sleep. And when you finally slept, you freaking laughed in your sleep! Oh no, Rico, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who the heck laughs when they sleep? 
That's freaking creepy, you creepy ass scumbag. I'm gonna request changing rooms and I pity whoever becomes your next roommate. Me, 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 me. Oh, wait, maybe they probably just don't let boys and girls stay in the same dorms. <laughs> really? Did I really laugh when I sleep? I'm sorry, Rico. You better be, swine! Uh, huh? What's going on? Were you not listening? Were we just not paying any attention? We just have a face buried in a bowl of cereal. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh? Did I miss something? Why are you guys fighting? It seems that Matt is assigned as Rico's roommate. Oh, that explains the fight. If you just listened, I think you could have put two and two together there. Do you really laugh when you sleep, Matt? Well, I've always slept alone up until now, so I don't really know. Guess I had a really funny dream then. <laughs> this isn't the frickin' time to laugh. I've heard enough of your laughing. Let's just put an end to this giggling, shall we? Huh, I guess it was salty so early in the morning. I mean, if I had a lack of sleep because of my roommate laughing to themselves all night, I think I'd be a little bit ticked off too. I think he's within his rights to be annoyed. I'm definitely requesting to change rooms. Fortunately, Rico, I don't think there's any spare rooms for the guys. After all, you are aware that this is a dormitory for other schools' boarders too, right? There are only a few students from Marnie High. The rest are from other schools. Hmm. I don't think the warden will allow you to switch rooms. Dang it. Sorry, Rico. Just wake me up when I laugh at my sleep again, okay? And if possible, please record it. I want to hear myself laughing. You can hear yourself laughing all day whenever you're telling your meme jokes. Why do you need to hear it in your sleep? Maybe because it's a little bit quieter too. It's probably really creepier too. I can't imagine it's like proper laugh out loud, giggling, like really super noisy stuff. It's, it might be like little... <laughs> oh, that would bug me. Just thinking about it. You bastard. Hey, chill guys. This isn't even the first week of school and you guys are losing. You're cool. Let's all get along, all right? Uh, uh, anyway, who's your roommate, Mikey? I don't have one. I'm all on my lonesome. I don't have any. Obviously. After all, no one's living in the same room with someone like you. All right, Mr. Lack of Snoozy Pants. Cool it. I guess you're right. Whoa, isn't that a bit too mean, Rico? <laughs> if Mikey doesn't have a roommate, I should just move into the same room as Mikey. See? 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 That was my suggestion. Although I know it's going to get shut down immediately because boys dorm, girls dorm. Quite clearly, unless I cut my hair. It always works in the movies, right? That way, Rico, you don't have to suffer. Mikey and I will have so much fun exchanging jokes, so it's a win-win situation. Huh? What? Are you freaking kidding me? I'll not allow that! Yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, to mean, what does Rico mean he won't allow that? He can't be having anybody stealing me away? Making moves on me? I see. I, I, I get it. Huh? Why not? It's beneficial for both of us. Mikey's a girl. You can't share a room together. Yeah, Matt. The warden won't allow it. But don't you feel lonely, Mikey? Living alone in a room and all? Don't know if I'm that lonely. Well, I do feel a bit lonely sometimes. But I'm used to it, so it's fine. Seth just giving the annoying smile. Just like, you can't see him, but he's just doing the whole... I could be Seth. Kind of like that. Anyway, let's depart for school. I don't want to be late. Yes. Let's. Are you donating, Mikey? Uh. Yes. You betcha. Anyway, Rico, what's with the cartons of milk you're carrying? Are you really going to drink all that? Oh. The dorm's canteen doesn't impose any restrictions for the number of milk you take, so I took as much as I could. Hoarding up on milk, are you? Ah, I see, I see. It hopes to make you taller. Oh, Seth! Whoa! That's my line! D shut up! 
la 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 yeah there's the there's the there's the follow-up laugh oh mg you're trying so hard shut up careful rico you don't want to get a stomach ache shut up we're so mean Well, uh, I'll be off to my class then. See ya. Well, since we're in the same class, we should all go together. Ugh, no. Leave me alone. At least in school. Oh, I don't say that. Matt playfully elbowed Rico, but since he was too short, he actually elbowed his head instead. <laughs> Donk. Oh yeah, I forgot you're not <laughs> quite as tall as I am. Ow! Uh, sorry. You really should eat more, you know. You're so skinny. Yeah, Rico. Get lost, idiots. I mean, I agree with Rico on this one. We've been super mean to him this morning, making fun of him being short again. Elbowing him in the head. Telling him he needs to eat more. Poor guy. Rico ran away from us and was nowhere to be seen after a few seconds. Eh, he must really hate us. Though I don't blame him. Well, then, uh, let's go together instead, Mikey. Yup. Uh, I guess that's the best thing we can do right now. Good morning, students. It's time for attendance. Mr. Ashtray begins taking attendance. Good, that's what he literally just said he was about to do. Lynette Gracia. Absent again. Interesting, Lynette was absent before. Huh? She absent again? Hmm. How odd. Does anyone know her or why she's always absent? I wouldn't say two days in a row is always absent. It's just two days. Just sick. Just hit school. Dead in a ditch. I don't know. Who is this person? Why is she always absent? Guess no one knows her. Do you know her, Mikey? Not a clue. I just started. We all just started. How do we? How do? How would any of us know anybody? People from previous schools that we were middle school, I guess. But in this instance, nope, no clue, new idea, mystery person. All right, class dismissed. And Mikey, I'd like to talk to you for a while. Can you please meet me outside? Oh no. Oh, ah, uh, stomachs in knots. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting school stress all over again. Huh? Why me? Yeah, yes, sir. Why me? What have I done wrong? All right, it could be either. Uh, what is it, Mr. Astra? Mikey, uh, you live in the dorm, do you not? Uh, yes, sir. I'm trying my hardest not to make any puns regarding his name right now. Oh, the urge! I don't think he would mind. He already kind of in in encouraged us to... No, well, not encouraged us to do it, but made fun of his own name, so we're surely allowed to. Do you know Lynette Gracier? No, sir. Never heard that name. That's strange. She should be in the dorms, as she's also a boarder. A scholar. A scholar? Maybe that's why I'm on my own. Maybe Lynette's meant to be my, my, my roommate. Maybe they are dead in a ditch. Yes, that's the strange part. Anyway, I was hoping that you knew her, but it seems like you don't. I really don't. I've got no reason to lie about this. Uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd be, you know, I could be protecting her, but I can't protect someone I don't know. But I can, but not in this instance, because I don't know what I'd be protecting them from. If by any chance you come across her in the dorm, do tell her to meet with the principal immediately. There's been no notice informing the school about her absence, and... We were worried as we could not contact her or her guardians. Well, what happened? I don't know either. I'll try to look for her in the dorm, Mr. Ashtray. Good. Thank you for your help, Mikey. Well then, you don't want to be late for your next class. You should be going. Yes, sir. What is next class? What are we doing? Lynette Gracier. Never heard of her before. 
How can a scholar be absent for three days? Oh, it's three days, not two. I mean, it's not unusual for people to be off for like a whole week, but yeah. No contact, no communication, no sign of them whatsoever. Maybe my reputation precedes me. Maybe someone said, hey, Lynette, if you go to this school, you'll be in the dorms with a crazy joke-loving gal who will never, ever, 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 ever stop irritating you with terrible jokes. So maybe just skip it. Anyway, if she's living in the dorm, I should go look for her. Class first. Hmm. Mikey, what did the teacher say to you? He asked if I knew Lynette Gracia, the girl who was absent. He said that she was supposed to live in the dorm. Hmm, oh, okay. That's good. Were you worried I was being, getting in trouble for something? It's probably my imagination, but why does Matt seem so tense? What's he been doing? Did he think he was going to get in trouble? Did he think I was going to get questioned as to something that he's been doing? Uh-oh. My suspicion is peaked. Anyway, if I'm not wrong, the first period is math. G Crap, it's math! Yes, Mikey, did you call me? Okay, just math. Calm yourself down. Before we even go there. Haha, <laughs> that pun though. But this isn't the time for puns. I'm so dead at math, Matt. Huh? W what's the problem? Oh, right. You weren't here during the math test two days ago. I blew it. I blew it good and proper. It was crazy. It was so hard. What the heck, man? Who puts a 16-mark question in a 20-mark question paper? Uh-oh. Speak of the devil. It's the math teacher. Right. I don't actually know her name. What's her name again? Mrs. Markdown, do you have our corrected test paper? Mrs. Markdown? Why the heck is he asking that? And her name is Mrs. Markdown? Why are all the teachers' names so unique? Oh, yes, I have your test results back. I shall distribute it right now. No! I mean... <clears throat> Yay, I get to learn from my mistakes. Mrs. Markdown distributed the paper to me, slamming the paper against my table. Uh, ow. I didn't say anything. She didn't say anything either. Oh, good, I'm not in trouble. I took a deep breath and flipped over the paper. Three out of twenty! I even got the bloody one where it's the, bl t uh, the, the thing plus the thing multiplied by the thing wrong. Shit! See? I told you I always do those ones wrong. I failed! We were going to anywhere. I'm so screwed. He's a babe to cheer you up, Mikey. Thanks, Matt. Thanks. This is really good. It is actually really good. I do love I do love surprise Pikachu face. It's one of my favourite meme templates. Still going strong. Shows no sign of slowing down. Thanks for trying to meme your way to cheer me. But no memes can help my grades. Come on, Mikey, 3 out of 20 isn't so bad. No, 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 you're thinking 2 out of 3 ain't bad. 3 out of 20 is bad. Not bad by us! It's really bad! Did you forget I always have the worst math grade during elementary school? Once I even got a negative 1 out of 100. How do you get a negative 1 out of 100? Did you get the answer the wrong way around? No. Sorry, I don't remember. But how the heck did you get a negative 1? Well, uh, first of all, I got all the questions wrong, and the teacher subtracted one mark from my test paper as she said my handwriting was terrible. <gasps> oh, Matt! Matt, my kindred spirit! My best friend! Oh, I endured the same bloody torture at school! Because, Mikey, uh, I'm holding the pen. See, I'm always playing with something while I'm sat here. Because I am left-handed, and we had to use bloody fountain pens. You know the ones with the proper ink and everything? With the nibs rather than just the regular pen tips? And those things blotched and blotted everywhere. And because you're left-handed and your papers... Because you're writing left to right, so your hand's like smudge, 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 smudge. I got marked down for my bad handwriting so often. I was like, it's not my fault I'm left-handed. 
Stop punishing me for the way I was bloody born. Actually, I don't know. Is left-handed, right-handed? It, it is a genetic... Not genetic. Is that the right word? I don't think hereditary is the right word. It's a genetic thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a biological brain-related thing, right? Anyway, whatever it is, I'm left-handed. So I have this issue all the way up to leaving school. Every single report mentioned my bad handwriting. It's like, I try, but it's hard to... I'm too busy focusing on not smudging my words. And then when I'm not fo when I'm focused on my writing instead of not smudging the words, then my writing's better, but then there's smudgy. Smudgy's everywhere. Ah. What I'm saying is, I know where Matt's coming from. Well, that's not something you should be proud of. Do you not remember that, Mikey? Nope, I don't remember it. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know you were bad at Matt. Huh. <laughs> Now that's the Mikey I know. It's okay, just remember that, that if you get bad marks, there's always me. Yeah, unfortunately you were not here to take the fall for my bad marks by getting less than I did. I probably scored the least in the entire class. I'm sure everyone else got at least four. <sighs> so what's the self-deprecating joke? And then to make you happier, Mikey, you see, Matt's just trying his best to make me feel better. Alright, class. This time, quite a number of people got top scores for the test. What do you mean, quite a number of people got top scores? How? What the heck? Who got high marks for this test? Rico. 100% Rico is one of them. But there's only one person who got full marks. No, wait, how do you get... How, wait, no, wait, wait, what do you mean, difference between top and full? Does top just mean passing? If anybody got the bloody stupidly hard last question right, then surely they got the th questions before that right? Surely! Everyone started chattering excitedly to each other. I think it's that Rico kid. I, on the other hand, couldn't care less. We will when we find out who it is! It's not like I'm going to be acquainted with this full marks nerd anyway. Yes, we are! Please give a round of applause to Rico. What the? I can't believe it. That jerk. He told us how to figure out the bloody last question. It's obvious that he was going to do well. Oh, so Rico's so smart, huh? When you're in one room with a genius, but you know you're nothing more than a bug to him. Hide the pain, Matt. Huh? It's a meme reference. No, oh, should have known. Man, that midget sure is... I don't like using that word. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't like using it. Shorty pants. I like that more. Remember, there's always me. Yeah, yeah. Yes! School's over! We survived another day! I did not die in class! Ah, oh, I know I probably will someday, but today is not that day. Can I actually just backtrack a little bit to the use of the term midget? And I, I like language differentiations and different use of different words depending on where you grew up or where you live or connotation, all that different stuff, right? But to me, it's 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 like it's it's got like really negative connotations to uh, dwarfism, um, and it's like it's just there used to be a suite actually. Can I? I will just divert to this, and I will just go because there was a suite back home called uh, and they're called Midget Gems, and they're like little like little 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 candies basically, little like gummies kind of. Yeah, little gummy, gummy sweets, basically. And they were called Midget Gems. Uh, but they actually changed their name. Um, I believe it was last year they changed it. Oh, they've, caught, they, they've changed the name to Mini Gems uh, now. Oh, that, well, there we go. Holy crap. This, this, this explains a lot. Midget Gems were extremely popular in the north of England. That's why I grew up eating them. Uh, in 1995, the company joined forces with Cadbury Tree Bowl Bassett brand Maynards to market the suite across the country. Wow, so they didn't actually go countrywide until 95. Holy hell, that's so weird to me. Uh, they're a very, very UK-centric suite. I don't think you can really find them anywhere else. Um, so here, I'm just going to... Here we go. 
uh, in January 2022. So it was just this year. It was only earlier this year. Marks and Spencer announced they were to change the name of their suite to Mini Gems after a campaign by Liverpool Hope University academic Dr. Erin Pritchard, who complained that the word midget, considering its origin in a Victorian freak show which exploited disabled people, was offensive to people suffering with the rare condition dwarfism. Uh, of course, the reaction on social media was mixed because... Oh, oh no, at the risk of, we, we, we're so, we're so, we're pandering to people now, are we? No, we just don't want to offend people. And all we've done is change the name of the sweet. We haven't changed how the sweet is made. We haven't changed the flavour of the sweets. We've literally just changed one bloody word to something else. People need to get a grip and start getting annoyed about things they should be annoyed about. But that's a completely different thing anyway. That, 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 that transcends mini gems slash midget gems. But anyway, so Marks and Spencer's store... Actually, I think they're I think they're cross Atlantic. I think you get Marks and Spencer's here too. But anyway, they changed the name in January 2022, and then Tesco and then Maynard's Bassett's followed suit later that year. So you can't find them. I don't think you can find them as midget gems anymore. All iterations of the suite are now called mini gems. Now I'll tell you what, they're bloody delicious, and I bloody love the things. There you are, some mini gems. Now let, look. Let, I don't, look, I, I understand. They do look weird. The shapes are odd. But they are so nice. Any gummy sweet I'm a fan of. But the gumminess has to be a certain kind of gumminess. I don't like them to be too soft. I like them to be chewy, right? Mini gems really tick that box for me. I like mini gems, sports mixtures. And to a lesser extent, wine gums. And I believe that's all the same. Like the main brands of those are all the same company that makes them like maynards bassett's maynards now i guess they all merge but anyway those are the kind of sweets i grew up eating and they were bloody lovely and it, i'm sorry this just completely derailed the main game just to talk about the whole the terminology being used and stuff like that and look not for a single second and i'm going to leave the mini gems on the screen because i want to just drool over them for a few more minutes and not for a second am i saying that uh, the developer El Seth had any ill intentions at all in using this term and this is why I, I but I mentioned this kind of stuff just just to make sure that I it's the awareness of certain words and terms okay and midget is one of those ones that's like it's very much on the precipice of so yeah one final thought on this matter and I guess relate, not related to that the word midget anymore but like related to like differentiations of terms and their usage there was a big one earlier this year too that you probably heard of as well with um, the use of the word like spaz um, like you know spazzing out such a spaz that kind of thing it's a shortened for form of the word spastic which like it, it's one of like the worst terms really to uh, to pejoratively describe disabled people in the UK and that's because there used to be a charity called the Spastics Society uh, and it was for a cerebral palsy charity um, but then the word spastic became kind of synonymous with anybody who had any kind of like you know mental disability or like any kind of disability full stop really so the Spastic Society changed their name to Scope to try and like bring that back and just go, okay, we're just going to try and er eradicate the use of this word in this kind of in this kind of manner. But in the US, it's still used kind of very widely without, I think, the context being there. So it's been wound back a bit. I know that Lizzo changed the lyrics of one of her songs and Beyonce then, not long after that, also took that term out of a song. But it's that, again, it's that little division of how words are used and where you're from and how they get used and how you've been around them and stuff like that. And again, there's no, I am not trying to call anyone out. I am not trying to make people feel bad. It's purely just an expanding of knowledge kind of piece. And I ended up talking about this for a lot longer than I expected. So um, apologies for that. I guess, though, we can get back to the game, at least for a little while now. Because <laughs> we survived the school day and I want to see what happens after it. Mikey, I'm sorry I couldn't go with you today. I have sports training I have to attend. It's okay. It's cool. You, you mentioned it already. Don't worry about it. Aw, that's too bad. We can't go home together then. Seth's an 11th grader, right? You should go home with him. He'll protect you in my stead. Yes, Seth is my knight. Seth is my protector. I can go home by myself. Hey, Rico. Matt. Mikey. 
Do you want to go home together today? Hi, Seth. I'm starting to get worried about you, Seth. Do you not have any friends in your grade? Ouch, that could deep into my heart. There's some boarders in 11th grade, yeah, but they don't really socialize well. You get what I mean? Yep, I get what you mean. Yep, I understand. Uh, yeah. I can't go with you today, though. I have sports training for the upcoming competition. See ya! Ah, oh, that's too bad. Where's Rico? I think Rico went back first. He got a head start. He did a runner. So it was just the both of us then, Mikey. Yeah. Must be pretty upsetting. Not really. Walking with you feels like I'm walking with a crowd. Oh, yes, I am definitely noisy enough for the both of us. I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment. Also, did he just skip over my pun? Did he not get it? Did he just not pick up on it or what? You should. Okay, I will then. If you insist. Ah, <sighs> Finally, we get to go home. So sick and tired of school. Yeah, me too. Especially maths, for no particular reason. By the way, Seth, why were you fighting a few days ago? What did they do to you? Are they bullying you? Well, it's just another disagreement I got pulled into, I guess. Do you get pulled into a lot of disagreements? Is it because you're... Is it because you're strong? And people try and use you to defend their opinions on things? Huh. I wonder why we can't solve things diplomatically. The world would be more peaceful place that way. Wow, Seth with the bloody knowledge. And the, and the wisdom. Love it. I agree. Anyway... I just met you a couple of days ago, so I want to know more about you. Tell me your interests, Mikey. Oh, um, I like puns. That one's a given. People know that without you telling them that. I see. Uh, what about other hobbies? What else do you do besides making puns? Well, I could play a bit of guitar and... I enjoy playing badminton. Oh, that's interesting. Is that sarcasm I hear? No, no, of course not. People often think I've been sarcastic when I try to compliment others. I guess it's just the way you it's just the way you go about things, I suppose. It's really annoying, really. No one understands what I feel. Did did the mood change all of a sudden? Shit, I didn't mean to offend you. Please don't hit me. Uh anyway, Seth, what about you? Do you play any instruments? Me? Play the saxophone. <gasps> the saxophone? Really? You just look like a sax guy. Yeah, I never really judge a book by its cover, huh? I can play the triangle. Sorta. Kinda. I can't play guitar, although I haven't picked one up in forever. I had guitars back home, I just didn't bring them over here with me because it would have been a lot of money to ship them over and I was worried that they were going to get damaged if I shipped them over anyway. But I used to have two electrics and two acoustics. But I uh, didn't bring any of them. But uh, And I was like, I've always promised myself, I'm going to get a guitar here someday. Trying to find a left-handed guitar is a pain in the backside. I would have thought it would have been... I don't want to say easier in North America, but it's, it's definitely not. It's kind of difficult, actually. I think my best bet would be to buy in a right-handed acoustic and restring it. I could also restring an electric, but it doesn't quite work. So it doesn't it doesn't quite work as well as having the properly made ones. And you know, and I could make do, but I don't want to make do. I want proper guitar for me and my hands. All right. Anywho. Whoa! Awesome. That's so cool. No wonder he gives off a jazzy aura. Any sports? Hmm. Honestly, I don't like sports in general. But I do like fighting. I mean, that could be classed as a sport, depending on where you do it. You're fighting in a back alley somewhere. It's not a sport. If you do it in a ring that people pay to watch, generally a bit more legal. Uh, okay. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, damn it. He can pull jokes too. Good for him, I guess. I played basketball a lot as a kid. For some reason, it was pretty easy to get the ball in the hoop because the others are relatively short than me. I was going to say you look like a bit of a tall one. 
Looks like basketball might be your thing. Hey, just because you're tall doesn't mean you're automatically good at basketball, though. Because I'm pretty tall and I was shit at basketball. But I was shit at every sport, to be honest. I was pretty bad at everything except being goalkeeper in football. Soccer. Gangly arms and gangly legs. I can kind of go, woo, spaghetti limbs. And just somehow deflect the ball away. That's generally how I went. Oh, cool. Yeah, I guess you're pretty tall, Seth. You're like two times taller than Rico the... <clears throat> Small guy. Uh, man, I pity Rico. But I guess his big brain makes up for his height. Pfft, I'm so good to tell Rico what you said. Don't! Nah. Uh, don't do that. Might surreptitiously also have feelings for him. We don't know. Maybe. Oh, sorry. I think I have to leave you here. Forgot that I had to do something. You have to do something? Very vague. Very suspicious. Uh-huh. What's something? You'll be fine walking back by yourself, right? Tom's just a few hundred metres away. Yeah, okay, can you at least watch me in? Do you want me to accompany you? No, nah, it's fine. Thanks for the offer, though. See ya! Bye. Seth turned away and walked towards the opposite direction. I shrugged and continued on walking to the dorm. What did he forget to do? It's so fishy. Um. Oh, okay. After eating dinner, I took a quick shower and did my homework. I wonder where Seth was. He wasn't there during dinner. Hope he won't miss curfew, otherwise it's disciplinary action for him. Seth always seems that he's keeping something away from us. Yes, yes, well, you know, he is one of the more suspicious ones here. One of the bad lads. I sighed, removing all thoughts of him from my brain and focusing on my homework. Phew, it's late. I should sleep. I crawled into bed and after a while dozed off to sleep. And there goes another day. This seems like a good little, this seems like a good little, whoa! Huh? What the? Silence. What's going on? It was a few moments later that I realised a guy was on top of me holding a knife close to my neck. Okay, this took a turn. He came through the window, which was now shattered. Its fragments scattered all over my room. You... You were acquainted with him. If I take you away and make you suffer, will he return? Uh, huh? What do you mean? Who are you? The masked man's grip on me tightened, his knife cutting through my skin. What the fuck? I can feel blood trickle down from my neck, the smell of iron filling my nose. Uh, someone help! Freeze! The stranger released me. I realised the voice was from the shadow of a girl standing next to the window sill. The girl was holding her gun. Raise your arms to the air if you don't want to die. The stranger was eerily quiet. Then, as swift as a snake, he slid off the bed and rolled on the floor. The girl fired another shot. What kind of gun is that? It's like a bloody... What is it? Fucking boomstick. A blunderbuss. But the stranger hurtled towards the girl in high acceleration, startling her. He pulled out his knife and swung it towards the girl, but she dodged it and made another shot. I wasn't expecting all this. What's going on? Damn it! However, the stranger jumped off the window, disappearing into midnight shadows. Hey, that character was in the game. Was in Chance It. One of the endings of Chance It. By Kokoro. Tofu Sheets Visual. That we just played not long ago. I still couldn't believe what happened. Da shit, sorry. I felt my neck, there we go. True enough, blood was oozing from the cut I sustained. That was one intense scene I experienced. Maybe we should get ourselves bandaged up a little bit. Do we need stitches? Big old band-aid. The girl who carried a gun was still by the window sill, searching for the masked man with her eyes. Don't know what else that you'd be searching for someone with, but okay. While cursing under her breath. Damn that person. Where did he go? Okay. We definitely have chance it characters. They're not chance it characters. They're characters from this, but they have, they bled over into chance it. Um, excuse me. Oh, hey you. Your neck. Did he do that to you? Yeah, but it'll be fine. Wait, I have some antiseptic somewhere. 
Okay, so they're moving in. This is our roommate. And this will be Lynette. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, then. I guess we'll get properly acquainted next time because... We're done! <laughs> For now. Oh, my word. This game just gets more and more bonkers by the bloody second. And you know what? I'm starting to like Rico more. I kind of hip-hop around when it comes to choosing my favorites in games like this. But Rico went up a little bit today. Don't know. Don't know what he did specifically to, to do that. But that's what happened. I don't know. Maybe Seth was been a bit mean. But then we're mean too. So I don't know. I don't know. Matt's low okay. Matt's very insecure. But hey, aren't we all? Aren't we all? Okay. I'm done. If you want to play the Punniest Pun Messy for yourselves, as always, links in the description below, along with all of Elset's other games on her itch page. Highly recommend checking them out. They're so good and fun. And, uh, yeah. If you have any of the game recommendations for me, I just want a bit of a general chit-chat. You can have it in the comments below. Or you can catch me on Twitter. Or you can even go to my Discord server. You have multiple options to communicate with me. Um, but... Yeah, before you go anywhere though and do any of those things, if you're going to, don't forget to fulfill YouTube's whims and hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the notification bell if you haven't done those things yet. And now I shall take my leave. I have been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you all next time around. Bye for now.